Today on Team Wacker Garage, we forego cars completely and turn into beer snobs. Every time I go to Minnesota, I pick the most Minnesotan and Wisconsin. They're amazing. Junk I can find, and they're always fantastic. Yes. Best names. Best cans. Best prices. Best prices. Yeah, that, that was a 30-pack for like $12.99 or something. It was not cheap. Today, I think we're going to clean up. This has a... Uh, JB Weld, but and hold! Oddly enough, with a really, really heavy uh, pressure plate, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't. So, uh, yeah, we need to we need to grind that, clean all that grime off of it, and we are going to do what you probably shouldn't do and uh, weld it to the block. Yeah, <laughs> because... Uh, Permanent fixture. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, the ball's in good shape, and... Uh, get a transmission on? Uh, yeah, we'd like to put it in the car. I mean, yeah, transmission on, get it in the car. We're not wally gagging like we normally are. We should be able to put this shit together tonight. If the Schmidt doesn't slow us down. Schmidt doesn't hit us with the Dougie or the Ice House or the Northeast or... <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a few to update you on our next beer choice and if we have to work on the car. Yes. Do your best. The will take care of the rest. Yeah. Alright, so basically we're going to buzz right around the outside here, uh, back it into places. We'll see if we can get a bite on this block in the first place. I cleaned as best I could with brake clean and rag, but. Fire. <laughs> no, hold on, no, no. Just, what a burn. Good water? There's nothing in here that's really combustible. That's good. It's almost done. The fire. <laughs> it's on the. It's on the inside now. It's on the tire now. I think it's. Hmm. I was thinking about it. I mean, I don't really care too much about the tire. I don't want to breathe burn up tire smoke though. Where's give me the water? I was wondering if that was going to happen. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That was fun. Why is the fire flammable? Why is the fire flammable? Why is the water flammable? <laughs> Probably because it has oil saturated in it. Okay, so we're going to get some more water bottles. Yeah. Did we get a tack at all? No. Uh, no, I need to bridge the... I grabbed a little bit of the... I'm still- oh yeah, it's still burning. Oh yeah? Oh, now we're done. Team Wacker top tip. When you don't have vacuum nipples, you can use duct tape. Don't do that. Uh, the key doesn't do anything, does it? The key doesn't do anything. What we're going to have to do is... Just have uh, to energize this wire right here. Yep. Yeah, so, so we need another wire. We need a multimeter or something. Fire extinguisher is in the truck seat. Okay, well, we need that. I'll pull it out of the truck seat. Yeah. <laughs>
100 percent want that. Let me use this can of AutoZone brand brake clean that we bought. We're gonna use this to get going. Um, other starting if you want to do the throttling. Awesome. It's yeah. running! Sort of. It's obviously not the same day. No, no. We're this, a week past. Yeah, we, we ran We out decided of time. not to do one video from one night because uh, we got frustrated and only a few things got done. That and it was a work night. Yeah. And mainly we needed to go home. But yeah. So uh, we're back and we've got the motor back in the uh, engine, motor back in the car. <laughs> fumes. Oh, there's some. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of exhaust fumes, fumes in here. Work. Yeah, um, so we chased, uh, hooked up the drive shaft. Uh, we had to pull it from the back end, which was a grimy mess. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, it went on. Uh, peachy checked, made sure it was in neutral. Yep. Uh, I put on the carb. Uh, I put the radiator back in, plumbed some crap up. Uh, radiator itself seems to be holding water. Yeah, I think the radiator is going to work okay. It's the a hoses, three, though. It's a three core, so if, you know, like one whole set of like roses. Dead, then it's There's still too low. <laughs> uh, low radiator hoses leaking profusely. Yeah. So we're definitely going to need a new one of those. But yeah. Carb, uh, our lovely rebuilt Edelbrock that we did after work one day, uh, fired right up nice and it seems to idle pretty good. Um, so we're going to try to get the mufflers on. Yeah, we're curious to see what it sounds like with the mufflers and we're also really curious to see if it goes into gear normally and how the clutch feels. Cause oh. Probably next time we'll get a water pump and some, some coolant hoses in there. Yep. Definitely need it to hold coolant so we can run it for any amount of time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it seemed to, seemed to run okay. We'll definitely need some tuning, but we also are using what I can only presume is like five year old gas. It's better Very old gas. gas. Since it's like orange. Uh, yeah. So it may run it may run a little better once we put some normal gas in it. But yeah. We should definitely, we'll probably hook up the, the fuel tank next time and see if it's just going pure garbage. Pure, yeah, pure shit that goes through it. And yeah. Transmission work. I'll yeah. Here's one in. So yeah. Maybe reverse. Whoa! 